Hey friends. Okay, so why do we have this thing called the shadow? And why is it said that we have everything that we dislike the very, very most in other people inside of ourselves? I don't know if you've ever heard that. Make a list of the things you just cannot stand, the attributes and behaviors you just cannot stand in other people. And lo and behold, often those things are inside of us. And that's one of the reasons why we can't stand them in other people, why they bug us so much, because they are um, non-nutritious, harmful attributes and behaviors that exist inside of us and we haven't come to terms and found a solution, resolution for them, which bothers us. and therefore it makes us really irritable when we see it in other people. Okay, so like, how would that even look? How would that even work? What's going on there? Here's an example. So say um, Bobby, little Bobby observed um, siblings getting praised or appreciated for their accomplishments in soccer. And Bobby, when observing that, bought into the belief that um, only the person getting receiving a praise in this moment is loved. What if Bobby um, experienced that situation, whether it was intended or not, experienced that situation as only one sibling in this family can be loved, and it's the one who is getting praised the most, who is receiving, um, being acknowledged for accomplishments. And so say that created a part, a wound within Bobby, the thought, the feeling of not being loved, and that only one child in the whole family could be loved, oh, that would be mortifying. That'd be sad. That would be heartbreaking to take in that belief and experience that um, I can't be loved. I'm not worthy of love. My own, the creators who made me and are in charge, or who are my nurturers, my caretakers, um, apparently don't believe I'm worth loving unless I am accomplishing the most of all the other siblings and and they decide to grace me with a praise or a compliment. Wow, that would be, whether that was intended or not, if someone took it in that way and bought into those beliefs, that would be very like life-threatening. Whenever our worth in being worthy of love um, is threatened, we will feel it's kind of like death. It's kind of like, um, yeah, like feeling that we could die because we're built for love. We need love. Um, infants who don't receive love just die, just give up. Failure to thrive because as humans, we are built to for love and to receive love. And we are lovable just by being a person, just by being us. So... Um, so in Bobby, this fragment or this part or this um, negative belief that um, I will only be worthy of love and ever get to receive love if I am the best and if I am accomplishing more than those around me and I am receiving praise, that would be create a real famine, internal famine situation and desperation to be the one getting praised to be out accomplishing other people, um, to hear the words <laughs> of praise and compliments, that could drive Bobby to create parts that are very competitive and very jealous, all stemming from this internal belief that I am going to starve <laughs> from love. I'm not going to receive love and I'm not even lovable if I don't get praised. Um, okay, so that could create a lot of jealousy and a lot of judgment of other people whenever they accomplish anything or receive any type of praise. It could feel like Bobby is being denied love. Um, that could create lots of judgmental thoughts, lots of judgmental and jealous reactions, which would have the consequence of people, you know, maybe people um, distance themselves from Bobby. Maybe friends after whenever they experience that kind of behavior or reaction from Bobby, jealousy and competition, they um, don't feel loved, they don't feel allowed to accomplish things or have successes, that could lead to a lot of consequences in Bobby's life that would hurt. And often when we have a part that is a protector, which the... Um, the part that has the belief that I have to get praise in order to be loved, um, 
that would be a protector or the or the part we'll say this the part that takes on the job of f pushing 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 Bobby to always be the best to always be out competing anyone around Bobby um, would be considered a protector because they're trying to protect from the pain of experiencing that you're not lovable and um, that even your own parents don't think you're lovable unless you're um, performing in amazing ways. Um, so often there's a part that experiences that behavior and then there are other parts of the system that notice how that's not helping. <laughs> notice the negative consequences and the downsides of I don't like it, I can't control, I can't stop myself from react like flinching and reacting in really judgmental, um, jealous ways and that's really hurting my life. That's hurting my ability to have friendships, ability to have relationships, um, ability to be happy if I'm around anyone who's accomplishing things. That would make being around people who are thriving and accomplishing things really painful. So, if until Bobby discovers why, what is the source of this judgment? Why is it happening? Bobby is likely to notice judgment in other people as very repulsive because the parts of his system that experience how it's causing harm for Bobby will hate the judgmental part for all of the havoc it's wreaking, for all of the loss of relationships, loss of connection, loss of vulnerability. Um, it, the other parts of Bobby are going to hate that judgmental part for ruining Bobby's life by making bringing, like ruining the ability to have relationships, to feel connection, to feel safe. Um, and so those parts, when they see other people being judgmental, they are gonna have a big reaction and say, whoa, that is so repelling, that judgmental, jealous, competitive behavior. That's so repelling. I cannot stand when that person does that. And the reason is that Bobby's own system hasn't been able to figure out and resolve and come to a healing or at least understanding about Bobby's own judgment. It just knows that it's there, can't stop it, and it causes a lot of problems in Bobby's life. So life is a mirror and when we notice there's something about other people that bugs us, oh it's just so irritating, so repelling. Often life is showing us a mirror of the things that are inside of us that are irritating to us that we haven't been able to resolve. So if Bobby notices, wait a minute, this is interesting. I made a list, I did this exercise of like, write down the things that just bother you so much and other people, the attributes and behaviors. And then write down, especially highlight the ones that are most irritating and detestable. Those are likely your shadow. If Bobby did that and then said, wow, I'm so bothered by other people being judgmental, judging and being jealous and competing, let me look inward and figure out if there's anything inside of me that needs healing. And if Bobby were to go inward and on alone or in a session and discover what is this judgmental part of me that is very judgmental, very competitive, what is it? And gets down to the root of it of, oh wow, <laughs> bought into some beliefs that only those who are getting praised are going to receive love, are worthy of love. And that there won't and anyone who's not that person is not going to receive love and is not lovable wow oh my goodness that's painful looking at that comprehending where this was coming from that it was coming from that experience and that perception whoa that makes so much sense that would be so painful oh my goodness i want to heal this part of me no wonder it's been extra you know no wonder no wonder all the judgment and the competition and the jealousy this part and this belief system that was bought into love and lovability and worth was on the line <laughs> like no wonder this was such a huge trigger and so devastating would bring so many emotions of feeling worthless of feeling isolated feeling rejected from all these random little experiences when friends or loved ones or people around bobby were having successes um no wonder it had such a weird reaction of feeling just torn up inside and uh, rejected and isolated and um, worthless like oh it all makes so much sense and then Bobby could go in and heal that part and bring in the per bring in compassion validation and the healing perspective that would help stabilize that 
um, that no, actually your worth is intrinsic. It's always there. You're always worthy of love. You're always lovable. And, um, and then explain. Sometimes if it's a child wound, you'll have to also connect to how you would explain it to a child. And you could do visualization, inner child work, energy work, whatever modality works for that. And if Bobby unroots, uproots that belief system and perspective and heals the wound and inputs a more true one, boom, there you go. Um, not only will Bobby now be able to feel sincerely be in contact with um, joy for people's victories and less competition and ability to be connected with people who are thriving or who are having accomplishments, but also Bobby's going to have compassion whenever seeing judgment in another person and will say, oh my goodness, I could really understand that. I don't know quite what where this person's judgment is coming from, but I could definitely imagine it could be something similar to what I experienced. Oh, I feel so much compassion instead of repulsion, instead of triggering, instead of all of that stuff.